What's up, fellas? I'm really happy to open my brand new channel out here in Bill Billy, and this is going to be my very first video. I'm assuming most of you guys don't know me. My name is Willin, and I usually go by Will. I was born and semi raised in China. I spent almost one third of my life in the States. So, for this video, I wanted to show you guys how my English sounds like after being studying working there for seven years. I'm not trying to flaxing anything like that, frankly speaking. There are a lot of English words which I don't recognize them at all. I'm also horrible in grammar and spelling. But overall, I will give myself maybe a 6 out of 10. So, in my generation, English plays a such an important role while we growing up. We've been taking thousands and thousands of exams since elementary school. However, some of us, we might face some issues of oral English. I know decent amount of Chinese kids are comfortable of reading and writing, but sometimes we have a hard time of speaking. So for this video, I would like to show two tips with y'all if you are facing the same situation. First of all, don't be afraid to make mistakes. I know this might sound you know way too general. The heck is this guy you know talking about? Don't be afraid of making mistakes, but it's true though. I think this is one of the essential of learning a new language. This might have something to do with big environment of language learning in, in China. For example, um, let's say when a Chinese people, you know, speaks English, folk around tends to be extremely picky or pretty harsh about if the grammar is correct or how authentic the accent it is. But uh, on the other hand, when a foreign guy says something really easy in Chinese like Ni hao, what the means is jiao, something like that, you know. People tend to be easily impressed about that. I know, you know, the big environment is hard to change, but you know, just whenever you feel like speak something, just say it out, even though, you know, you might make some mistakes, but don't give a F about, you know, how other people they may criticize you. Alright? Because you are actually the one who making progress. So be confident, fellow brothers. Alright, I'm backing out here again. It's the only good lighting spot I can find in this room. Anyway, second point, change the way how you think. This might sound a little weird. Let me help you to walk on through this. Let's say when you're having a normal conversation in Chinese with your buddy, your friend said, Eh, Shumdi, Tsudamil. The message he sent out has to receive from your ear and then send it to your brain to process this message. So your brain starts working on the appropriate response and then finally deliver from your mouth and you'll be like, ah, right? It's it's actually a lot of work going on in here. So years years ago, when I used to speak English, let's say when someone says, Hey Will, how's it going man? And uh, my brain was like, How is it going? The Chinese So I should say uh okay. And I'll be like, oh, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Uh, so this might, you know, it was a little exaggerated, but you get the point. So how did I actually train myself thinking directly in English? I will say one key method is talking to myself directly. For example, I was just, you know, casually sitting in my hotel room, right? And uh, I can just literally grab some random stuff. For example, here is a hand sanitizer, you know, lip, lip balm, or uh, a bottle of water. You know, I can li li literally just start to talking to myself. I can also say something like, you know, the weather today, it's pretty good, you know, uh, or the girl I was talking to yesterday, she was pretty hot, you know, something, something like that. It, it, it might seem a bit stupid until one day, you know, something will magically happen in your brain and you'll be like, holy moly, I am thinking directly English right now instead of, you know, doing the tedious translation process. All right. Uh, if you made it this point, you know, thanks for your time. Thanks for your watching. I think that's um, all I got for this video. Um, hopefully, you, hopefully you like it. Make sure you like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah.